Soldiers, in the name of democracy, let us all unite! Good day, good day, my fellow Entropians. This is John Sparta with another video on... Well, hopefully how to help you guys out in the game. Uh, today we're going to be doing some beginning mining stuff. I just wanted to go over uh, just a brief tutorial on, let's say you're, you know, you're a new player. You want to get into mining. You're not sure what to do. Uh, this is pretty much just a breakdown on how to be, how to kind of try out mining without spending a whole lot of money. Um, now, first off, uh, the thing you're going to need is a mining finder. And I'm going to show, I'm going to chuck some up here in my inventory that I have. Now, I'm going to let you know right off the gate that these, this mining finder right here is about uh, 60 ped. And it's probably one of the most eco finders. It's an unlimited finder, so uh, it's repairable, not like the ones that you get from the TT shop. But as a new player, most likely going to get the one from the TT shop. I want to let you guys know. That just because you're getting one from the TT shop, it does not mean that it's not good. Uh, if I if I compared the one that I have here that I'm showing you guys, and I compared the one to from the TT shop, they're they're identical uh, as far as depth, as far as probe costs. They're virtually identical. The only difference between the one I have and the one that you're going to get from the TT is that mine is unlimited, so I don't have to worry about going and buying one I just repair it um, so there's that whoa hold up time out okay time out time out time out I want to do a quick excerpt in the video just to show you guys that uh, there's not a huge difference between the finder that you get for 10 peck inside the uh, TT and the finder that I have. So this is the uh, Omegaton Detector MD-1 for 10 pack. It's got a depth of 104.5. Uh, probe uses two. Universal ammo 1,000. So that is 10 pack. Uh, so there you go. That's that's that. Okay. Now I wanted to show you mine. Keep in mind the depth, because that, that's all there really is is the depth. Okay, this is mine. Uh, probe uses two. Same ammo cost, 1,000. And it has 109.5. So we're talking difference of uh, f five meters, I believe. Feet? I'm not really sure. My dark doesn't really state that. It just says 109, so it's just the value. So there's no difference. Oh, there's almost virtually no difference between that mine and this one. Um, I did get this one way back when uh i want to say i got it for you know 45 to 60 ped it was a couple years back somebody said yeah if you want to you want to get a good one this is what you get at that time i didn't realize that uh i was because i was new to the game i was one of those kind of guys that just nod my head so i'm going yeah yeah oh okay well i'll i'll save my money for it and i did um but i want to show you guys there's no huge difference between this uh limited finder and the one that i have and as you can see, the limited finder is literally 0.10 peck. You can make your money back potentially in one drop. No kidding. Even if you're just looking for Listerium, you get a size 2 Listerium with this finder. Um, that's 0.3. Uh, that's 30 peck. The finder costed 10 peck. Your probe costed 10 peck. And you made a value. So you already made your cost back on the, on the, the finder itself. So it's a really, you know... Mining isn't as expensive as uh, as people try to make it out to be, but yeah, if you want to, it's like gambling. If you want to win big, you have to bet big. Um, if you're just doing this just to acquire skills, um, just to try it out, it doesn't have to be expensive. So just keep that in mind, guys. And we'll be back with more right after these words. <laughs> uh, the next thing is, is you're gonna need probes. If you don't have probes, of course, you could use universal ammo. Uh, they did that some years back. You don't have to buy probes. You can now use ammo, which is freaking awesome. So I uh, just wanted to show you guys a couple things. Uh, I found I found a claim out here. I just wanted to give you a brief overview of uh, what the claims look like. So you summon a claim, and let's go over the information. Okay, this is a Listerium Tiny, uh, size 2. Uh, cl mining claims range from... 
I believe one to 12, uh, meaning one being super small, 12 being enormous. You're, you're not going to find anything huge with a small finder like this guy that I've got. Um, you're going to find anything between one to five ish, I believe. Um, and uh, the depth is going to be low. The yield is going to be small. But think about this. Uh, every time I drop a probe, I spend 10 peck on this. So I'm, I'm gaining skill. I'm, I spent 10 peck. And I'm going to pull out my excavator here. And we're going to see what we got back. Okay, so already, I've already made my money back. I made, that's 15 peck, 20 peck, 25, 30, 33. So yes, I spent, I've spent 10 peck, I made 23 p 23 ped peck. Uh, yes, of course, I'm going to have some decay on my unlimited finder. Uh, maybe, I don't know, probably not even that much. Maybe a peck. I'd be surprised if it was over a peck. I, To be honest with you, I don't know how many uses I get out of a full ped. If any of you guys have this finder and you know, uh, leave it in the comments because that would most likely be helpful. Also, too, keeping mining is also a lot like hunting, too. You want to keep things eco. You can't just... Um, Go in there, drop a bunch of probes. Uh, if you if you you know if you go out there willy nilly and you don't do a little bit of research on where minerals are, you're gonna go bust real quick, and you're gonna be like, well, screw mining, that didn't work out for me. Mining sucks. Um, I definitely there's definitely tools out there uh, that help you kind of get an idea where some minerals are, and you if you put in rookie chat, hey, where can I find this mineral? There's a lot of like friendly guys out there that would be like, yeah, you know what? S start looking in this direction. Yeah, you do have a couple of Uber miners out there and they don't want to give up their spots because they frequent these spots and the more people are hitting these claims, the less less likely they're going to get a claim themselves. So you got to understand and I know that a lot of you guys that are playing in Tropy already know that it can be very very competitive and uh, I don't feel like me giving you information is hurting me in any way personally um, you know uh, I'm looking right now I'm looking for listerium on Calypso listerium is everywhere I will tell you that uh, it is more you can find listerium in, in more concentrations than other areas like right here in this north eastern region of the map listerium is pretty good in this area uh, a lot of people will tell you if you want to look for listerium go here the reason why they tell you to go here is because that's all there is on this whole on all these little i think it's called easter island all these islands that's that's all they have is listerium uh, the only thing i have about this place is if someone says oh hey i need listerium where do i go everyone says to go here so me personally don't go there because it's it's already been picked over um so and it takes you know it takes some time before you know uh or to repopulate back in those areas. So me personally, I would not recommend you go there. But, you know, I'm sure that there are some that say, yeah, go there. You know, that's cool. I, I did that when I first started playing. I, ever, I said, hey, where can I find Listerium? Because I craft some. And they said, yeah, go check this place out. Cool. I went, realized, like, yeah, I was getting some claims. But then I realized, well, wow, this is, you know, you could tell that it's been, you know, people have buying there recently because, you know, you're not getting a whole lot of hits. Um, but yeah, I go up to areas like this, and I'll do a grid pattern. I don't know if you guys use uh, LBML or heard of it. I'm going to tab out here. Sorry for the ugly uh, windows. So LBML is, is called Little Big Mining, and it's a, it pretty much saves all your data. So if I drop a probe here, uh, it'll tell you, okay, you got Listerium here on this date. So you have a permanent catalog of when and where you found ores so let's say you you know for example i'm doing dailies for uh in cal calypso and the, the daily wants me to find 2500 listerium keep in mind no i haven't i haven't been doing i haven't collected 2000 listerium in just today uh it's been processed over a week i, I mined a little bit here i mine a little bit there 
um, the Halloween event just ended. So uh, now I could go back to kind of doing the, the regular grind. And that's what I'm doing now. You know, I'm getting some of my dailies done. Uh, and also, too, if you if you guys are ever hunting or mining, you want to do everything with – you want to have like uh, – to me, it's if you if you're just hunting to hunt, that's great. But if you're actually hunting, and you uh, have a, a daily attached to that hunt, uh, for example, like I got a Sabakuba daily kill 57 out of 100, um, I could go hunting and make a little bit of ped possibly, get a global possibly. But no matter what, at the end of that, I'm at least I'm at the least I'm getting I'm getting a I'm getting a daily token. And, you know, you get, you know, 20, 40, 60 daily tokens, you can get yourself a nice gun. You know, that, you know, I, I wouldn't particularly sell the, the, the guns that you get from dailies. I'd use them because, you know, that skills. And uh, I don't have a lot of BLP skills. That's something I wanted to work on. So what I've done is I spent, I've spent my daily tokens for BL, a BLP pistols. Uh, and there you go. Uh, so make sure, you know, you always want to maximize the profit on everything that you do um, going back to keeping things eco i wanted to show you guys a couple of devices i had here uh, these are items that i craft but the demonic refiner and the demonic excavator are uh you know after doing some research i realized that they're probably one of the best uh crafting more eco slash crafting uh refiners and uh excavators out there so if you guys are you know uh, thinking about taking this seriously and you you know you don't you want to try to you know be as eco as possible you know shoot me a pm I'll, I'll be happy to build some of these for you and you know maybe even give you a discount uh, and yeah there's always that so uh, that's the demonic refiner the demonic excavator uh, which are rock trophy items Hey guys, something else I wanted to just run by you. You want, when you mine, you want to understand the ore value of what you're mining for. There's a lot of miners that will mine uh, purely for markup. And the thing about it is you, you just, you really want to know like, okay, so I'm, I'm digging up some iron right now. How much is this stuff worth? Iron has a markup. Listerium, not so much. So you could pull out iron out of the ground and you'd be surprised how much you'd get, you know. So just understand, like, before you go and say, okay, so I went mining and I spent 10 ped and I got, you know, I got some ore I want to get rid of. I don't mind. I don't craft it. So let's just understand. Just do the research. Find out how much, you know, because there's a lot of trading going on in the game, a lot of buying and selling. You have a lot of uh, what I would consider resellers. And these guys are, you know, they're just trying to get the, the smallest amount possible. And that's just their business. And the reason why is they make they make their money off of markup. So if they buy it from you at, you know, practically nothing at 101%, and then you turn they turn around and sell it at 106%, all they, they made, they literally made no money working. They just, all that's all the, the money they just made was that, that resell, that, you know, by, taking it from you and exchanging it to someone else. So just, just keep that in mind. Um, you know, personally, I think, and, and I understand reselling is a mechanic in the game and I don't have anything against resellers, but I, I think it's really hard for new players. You know, I've seen a lot of new players kind of get, you know, scammed over or anything like that. So just, just watch out for that. Um, also too, uh, I do offer mentorship. If you guys need a mentor, you know, who's, somewhat knowledgeable about the game. I've been playing the game for a couple years. Um, you know, shoot me a, shoot me a PM, you know, we'll talk about it. Um, I do help mentorships. I help, you know, I help new players go to other planets if they don't have space travel, which I don't expect them to uh, early in the game. Uh, of course I have advice. I could show you how to make ped in the game. I can show you make how to ped out of the game, but I'm a free to play player. So I can't just give you things, you know, that's, that's one of the things that, uh, you know, there's a lot of really, really wealthy players in the game. And that's great, you know, if you can you can get a mentor who's willing to just, you know, throw a pad at you. It's not common, but, you know, I have had, I've had you know, uh, 
disciples leave me because they just said, yeah, you know, uh, this guy was just throwing all kinds of free stuff at me. Hey, okay. Well, I, I really do hope that guy also gives you a boatload of information because to me, uh, knowledge is, in my opinion, a little bit more, more important than, than PED, you know. Yeah, you get some upfront value, but everyone in the game will learn. You'll learn in the game that, that uh, PED comes and goes quick. I mean, you can have 200 PED and the next day you can be flat broke. So if you're willing to sell yourself, um, you know, for a, a, a temporary monetary value, that's cool. Just keep in mind that knowledge is, is, is longevity in the game. The more you know, the better. So make sure you find a mentor that actually knows what they're doing and they're willing to, you know, instead of just tell you, oh, I don't know, look it up. They're willing to tab out and do some research and try to really, you know, help you prolong in the game. So just keep that in mind. Uh, well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up, guys. Uh, I want to go ahead and open up a couple strong boxes since I saved a few for the uh, from the strong bo uh, the Halloween event. Uh, let's just you know end the video with a quick opening here. I actually haven't had any luck with uh, this Halloween event. It's I've pretty much lost ped because of you know. Uh, the ammo it costs to get your boxes back, and I've I've only broken even every time, so you know it happens. Yeah, so that right there, if I can get that, if I could sell that for a uh, twenty ped, I don't know, uh, then I've broken even. If not, then I lost out on that one. Let's go ahead and open up another one. All right. Okay. That's another break even. And I'm just going to assume this one's ammo. And it's another break even. There you go. Yeah, so, uh, you know, I kind of feel bad for a, a lot of new players coming into the game. Uh, it wasn't always like this. Uh, I just feel like uh, Mindark has really, 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 really cut back on, you know, uh, what I would call their giveaways. You know, uh, at, at, at this this Halloween event, you know, I've heard a couple people say that they've got, you know, oh, yeah, I got a Halloween ring. Cool. But it's super uncommon. It used to be it used to be much, much more common. Uh you know, when I first started playing, you know, the, you got a, you got people wearing Halloween rings from 2016 to this day because, you know, uh, it, the game was a little, I would have to say, uh, Mind Dark was a little bit more generous. And I'm not really sure how this dynamic, how they feel this dynamic is going to help them in any way. Personally, I think it, it's hurting them a lot because it doesn't entice me to get into these Halloween events. And I'm sure, you know, it doesn't entice a lot of players. And with this this last one, man, I just kind of feel like, ooh, that was a, a a real eye opener. You know, you open up so many boxes, and you know, you're just kind of you're 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 actually down if you even if you buy. Let's say you didn't do any hunting, you just you spent pet on boxes, and you know, people do do that. Um, you don't get anything, man. You just you it's a huge sink, you know, because you paid money to open boxes where you bought the keys for one USD and all you did was break even. So, you know, <laughs> that's a, that's, that's a tough pill to swallow. Um, anybody who works for Mindark, I hope you, you know, realize that, you know, you're, these are just digital items. It doesn't cost you guys anything to, to put these, put these items out there. So, you know, uh, I would definitely say reward, the people who are uh, being involved in these events and that would encourage more people to be more involved in future events uh, you don't you don't uh, you don't want to you know leave uh, un leave these events on a negative note i guess but you know it's just a game and you know if you guys who already play entropy you know that the game is a gamble you know there's no guarantee to anything you can you can, you know, have a really good day the next day, and the next day you'll be, you know, washed out, flat broke. So, uh, with that being said, just, you know, have fun. Enjoy the game, and uh, you guys have yourself a great day, 
This is John Sparta with Alpha Male Gaming signing out.